I was so alone and brag. Well, Ring protected me, and so did his brother. You fucked Mackie, too? No. It was Ring. He was in charge. Welcome to Management Highlights Daily. Shout out to Patreon supporter Mr. Paul for this video. This is his message. I just watched a movie full of red pill talking points. It's the 2008 movie Appaloosa. I think that this would make some great MHD content. Mr. Paul, thank you for your video topic request. Salute! I really enjoyed watching this movie from a red pill perspective. And that's what we are going to provide in this video. Now before we get into this, let's give you guys some information about this movie called Appaloosa. The desperate citizens of Appaloosa, a small town, hired two crime fighters, Virgil Cole and Everett Hitch, to fight against the tyranny of a local rancher, Randall Bragg, and free them from his terror. These men were not only good at their trades, they were awesome and possessed a rare blend of grit, determination and justice that the town craved. Their arrival marked a turning point in the fortunes of the town, and for the time, everything ran smoothly as they fought bravely to free the desperate residents from Bragg's tyranny. Appaloosa's peaceful front, however, is soon shattered when a widow named Mrs. French arrives, setting in motion a chain of events that will test the very essence of justice and loyalty in this gripping western tale. Disclaimer. This video contains copyrighted footage, so we will be freezing it frequently to prevent copyright infringement. A special salute to our Patreon supporters. The original video will be available on Patreon. If you enjoy our content and want the full experience, consider supporting us on Patreon. Spoiler alert! This video contains spoilers, so you've been warned. Now it's time for us to get into this and do what we gotta do. Because we men ain't we? Yeah! We men ain't we? Yeah! When Mrs. French steps off the train in Appaloosa, a melody begins to play in the background, accompanied by the melancholy tones of a violin. This musical composition invokes an unmistakable sense that something important has changed in the small town. The combination of the enchanting violin notes and her seemingly disoriented expression creates a curiosity that lingers in the air. Check this out. Coffee and uh, a biscuit. No sell. But it's on the menu. With breakfast. Chin. Sell the lady a biscuit. Menu say. Sell her a biscuit. One time. This is an example of a woman being an agent of chaos, disrupting the usual order, and a man being a simp, showing a willingness to accommodate or make exceptions possibly seeking the approval or validation of the agent of chaos. Mrs. French unconventional order immediately disrupts the restaurant's routine as she asks for coffee with a biscuit, which according to the menu is normally served only in conjunction with breakfast. Let's take it a step further. Excuse me, could either of you gentlemen direct me to a clean and expensive hotel? We only have one. Oh, is it expensive? Probably more than it should be. There'd be no other choice. I only have a dollar. Do you have a name? Mrs. French. Allison French. Thank you. You, uh, you have a husband, Mrs. French? He died. Sorry to hear that. You do any kind of work? I play the organ and the piano. You're not a whore. <laughs> what? Don't be crude. Yeah, well, no sense fluffing your feathers about it. You don't see a lot of single women around here that ain't whores. Well, I'm one. Sprightly thing. <laughs> do you think the hotel will let me stay for a dollar? 
You can stay as long as you like, Mrs. French. How can that be? Might even hire you to play the piano. Think so, Everett? I do. The privilege of being a woman. Mrs. French is broke. She's a widow and doesn't have a place to stay. But a man, a high value man in this case, is willing to protect and provide for her based on his interest in her. Studies prove that if this were the other way around, women in general would not do the same because of hypergamy. Women in general look for men with the equivalent socioeconomic status. Let's take it a step further. Ali's chewing on me like a young dog. Says, all I do is be a marshal, sit around minding our prisoner, that I care more about marshaling than her, that I ain't even brung you down to see the house yet. Well, I was figuring to go see it when it was all finished. Well, go on down there, will you? Calm her down a little. You know, tell her you like it. What's interesting about this scene is that it started like this. Mrs. French is bored and feels neglected. Boredom is one of the pillars of ephemism. Remember Betty Friedan? The problem that has no name? Women wanted to join the workforce because of boredom. And that makes this movie interesting because it plays out in 1882. The types of jobs available to women were often limited by the social and cultural norms of the time. Ephemism painted a picture of men always having fun at work. Just as the Barbie movie shows that women with power only leads to goodness and a perfect utopia where everyone is happy no matter what. Research shows how the workforce and decades of ephemism in general only made modern women unhappier. Speaking of modern women, this next scene is on steroids in modern society. Any attention to the house. Hell, ever doesn't pay any attention to me. S sits up in his jail with his gun, being marshal. Well, has been somewhat expectant of late. Yeah, but it's his job. It's not his life. Yeah. It'd be so elegant. Come this is the part so we can look out and see everybody who's coming to call. Come and see this. Come and see. That will be the bedroom, and this will be the kitchen. Mm -hmm. You'll come often to visit us. Every time I'm invited. I can cook, you know. <laughs> I never imagined you could. Because of dating apps and social media, the average woman has access to an abundance of men. She doesn't have to leave the house to get in touch with a man to boost her ego or find her backup man, which according to research, 50% of women have in case their current relationship fails. She doesn't have to leave her town or city to get in touch with a man who's miles and miles away which only makes it easier for women to leave their current relationship. The woman has never changed. It is the environment that has changed. It is society that has changed. Social media and dating apps expose women's true colors, and this next scene is pure gold. I'm sorry, Virgil. Stay here, Robert. I'm sorry. I was so alone. And Bragg. Well, Ring protected me, and so did his brother. You fucked Maggie, too? No. It was Ring. He was in charge. I 
I just did what I had to do. Everett, Ring kills me. You think she'll go off with him? I think Allie needs to be with a man. You're a bastard. Don't listen to him. He tried to put his hands on me when I showed him our house. No, Virgil. I did not. No, Allie. Everett didn't do that. You believe him over me? That's correct. This is pure gold. Because this is the red pill truth. Mrs. French says she did what she had to do. It's a bitter pill to swallow, but this is female nature. Mrs. French strategically sought out relationships with men who held positions of power, influence, and resources. She targeted individuals like Ring, who held the most power and status in that moment and Virgil Cole, who was the most powerful figure in Appaloosa. Her choices in pursuing these men suggest a deliberate effort to align herself with individuals who could provide her with security and advantages. You see her lying about her situation with Everett to secure the bag. This is why this space continues to grow, as men face daily divorce grapes in the courtroom and experience the cold hard truth about female nature when it comes to securing the bag. Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard is must study material. Let's take it a step further. Well, I'm afraid. But I'm afraid all the time. Like being alone. Like being with the wrong man. Not having any money. Now, listen to this. It's not an easy time to be navigating personal finance. There's inflation, market volatility, and even lingering hardship from the coronavirus pandemic. But financial stress doesn't just hit our wallets. A recent bank rate survey found that it's also harming Americans' mental health, with 42% of adults saying that money is causing feelings of stress, anxiety, worry, loss of sleep, and even depression. But one group is more likely to worry than others, women. 46% of women say that money is hurting their mental health versus 38% of men. Women are worrying more than men about not having enough savings, covering everyday expenses, and preparing for retirement. Common financial situations are also more likely to trigger negative emotions for women than men, such as when they pay a bill or even when they look at their bank account. This is why women are constantly stressed out, burned out, depressed, and the unhappiest since the 70s and 60s. Women are wired to want everything. That's why the more women are exposed to various things or experiences, the more their desires and wants tend to grow. However, the reality is that having everything we desire is often impossible, given the limitations of resources and practicality. That's the cold hard truth of reality that women struggle with. Never met a woman like her. Mostly I've been with whores and that squall lady I told you about. She speaks well, she dresses fine, she's good looking, she can play the piano, she cooks good, she's very clean. Chews her food nice. But it appears she'll fuck anything ain't guilty. I'm not certain that's quite right. <laughs> what do you think's right? I think she wants to be with a boss stallion. Only one stallion in a herd. At a time. So when I'm around, she loves me. I think so. When I'm not around, she loves you. That's probably not love. When neither one of us are around, she loves rain. Again, not so sure I'd say love. She loved me. What do you think? 
I think she does. You're the one should know. You know she takes a bath every evening before she goes to bed. I like being with her. Nothing against it. The dialogue between Virgil and Everett is pure gold in this movie. How Virgil expresses his affection for Mrs. French, you can hear the distinction between what men look for in women and what women look for in men. Everything Virgil says has nothing to do with material wealth, resources or social status. While Mrs. French seems to place importance on these aspects in her romantic or relational choices. It's ironic that in modern times, we are living in the wild, wild west of dating. Most women want to be with the quote unquote boss stallion. And because of dating apps, social media, ethanism, and Disney princess syndrome, most women truly believe they will end up with a boss stallion one day. The top 10% of men. That's why for the first time in history, over 50% of America is single. So Mrs. French, being the exception in 1882, became the norm in modern society. Last but not least, the men question if Mrs. French loves Virgil, and the answer is no. Women don't love men for who they are. Women love men for what they can provide. Check this out. That's what I was trying to say. Hmm. Ellie has you in reserve. You was there for what? Everett, you ain't stupid. Virgil dies, you replace him. <laughs> no. That's why she's so nice to you. Yeah. Yeah. You don't think she loves Virgil? <sighs> Out here, love's pretty hard for a woman. Mostly the men worry about love. I don't know what she feels. She probably don't know how she feels either. She just knows he's the top hand and she'll stay with him till he ain't. In modern society, daddy government has taken over as husband. And a woman is no longer directly dependent on a man for survival. So the average man is hereby replaced. Everywhere in the world where society is built, safe and women join the workforce, Women naturally show their quote-unquote true love for men. With a prediction of 45% of women being single and childless in 2030, the women loving men narrative is only taking L's. The proof is in the pudding. The reason the above-named folks are better than you is because you've got feelings. Well, Virgil, everybody's got feelings. Feelings get you killed. You got feelings about Allie, don't you? Patreon supporters, salute! Man, that's where we work it. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted.